Hello again from Milk Street's New Hampshire Outpost. I'm J.M. Hirsch, the Editorial Director, and today we're going to talk about biscuits and booze. Uh, this is inspired by something my neighbors and I have been doing to try to make all of this social distancing a little bit less antisocial. About once a week, I bake a batch of biscuits and I make a huge vat of cocktails and we gather at the end of my driveway and we share them and catch up at a safe and respectable distance from one another. And so yesterday I had this idea that, you know, maybe I would turn that into a video um, and I was going to walk you through this unpublished recipe we have for buttermilk biscuits and I was adding some, a ton of fresh rosemary and tons of black pepper, it would be amazing. And, and I was also going to show you this great uh, technique for making uh, vast amounts of cocktails at a given time, which is something we could all use about now. Uh, it, the problem is, I'm really not a good baker. And no. Maybe there's a reason we didn't publish this recipe. Yet despite my bumbling, they came out amazing. So instead of putting you through all that, we're just going to give you a link to the recipe in our bio. And by doing that, that actually lets me focus on, well, what's more important, the batch muddled mojitos. So this is a really cool technique that you can use in a number of recipes and with a number of ingredients. And, and all you need is a stand mixer. But before we get to that, let's talk about muddling in general. And so muddling is usually something you do in a, in a cocktail shaker, or you can sometimes do it directly in the serving glass or the stirring glass. And you typically are muddling either fresh herbs and, yeah, I know my mint's kind of lame, but that's all I got. Um, fresh herbs or something like citrus. And when you're doing herbs, what you're doing is you're, you're gently crushing them and releasing the flavorful oils and compounds that are in the leaves. And when you're doing something like citrus, you are getting both the flavorful compounds that are in the skin or the zest of the fruit, but you're also getting the juice. Add a little bit of sugar to that, and now you have an incredibly flavorful syrup, which adds the, which is kind of the, the base of your cocktail in many ways. And so that's great for when you're doing one or two servings, but what happens when you want to serve a crowd or you're quarantined in your house, say hypothetically, and you need a lot of cocktails? Well, that's when you reach through a sand mixer. Our typical recipe calls for, for classic mojito, calls for four cups of mint, uh, which I obviously don't have, and seven fresh limes that have been cut up into small pieces. I usually cut them up into eighths. And so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit because I don't have all the right ingredients. And just to show you how versatile this is, you don't need all the right ingredients. I'm gonna use the mint that I have, but I'm also gonna throw in some fresh rosemary because rosemary has this kind of uh, piney resinous flavor to it. It's gonna tilt the cocktail a little bit to the savory side, which is gonna be great because it's gonna balance out the sweetness of the citrus and the sugar, and it's gonna give us a, a much more balanced cocktail, actually. So to make it, it's, it's actually quite simple. You're gonna start with your herbs, and don't, don't hesitate to put the stems in because there's lots of flavorful compounds in the stems as well. I'm gonna use this one, break it up so that it actually gets mashed in there. Uh, three quarters of a cup of sugar. And the proportions, by the way, are for our typical recipe, which again calls for four cups of herbs. I don't have it. And, you know, life goes on. And then your citrus. So I've let it go for a couple of minutes now, and it has pretty effectively mashed it and extracted all that flavor. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain it. And that gives us our syrup, which will form the base of our cocktail. So, just pour that through a mesh strainer. And just give the pieces a bit of a press. You can also let them hang out here for a little bit and let them drip and you'll get more syrup. And, but for the sake of expediency, I'm gonna Call that good, and set that over there. And so this is our flavorful syrup. So this is gonna be a mint, rosemary, clementine, lime syrup that we're now gonna make a cocktail with. And so again, this is kind of a mojito-esque drink. And I'm going to measure out, I'm gonna say, I like it fruity, so I'm gonna do two ounces of the syrup, which is much more sugar syrup than I would use typically in uh, most cocktails, but this isn't pure sugar. This is the, this is also the juice uh, from the, the limes and the clementines. 
And to that, I'm gonna add rum because I'm gonna stick with the Mojito theme. And I will say I like a strong cocktail. And so I'm gonna go two ounces plus another one and a half for a total of three and a half for good measure. And for those of you playing along, uh, yesterday I did a video that was uh, about the importance of salt in cocktails. Rather than on the rim of the cocktail, you put the salt directly into the cocktail. It changes the, flow, the flavor profile of the finished drink. It uh, really brings a lot of balance to it, so I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. And these are just Angostura bitters. All right, so we have our simple syrup and our rum, and we're gonna, we have our bitters and we have our salt, so we're gonna add some ice. Put that in there. And mojitos typically are not shaken, but because I added salt to this one and the bitters, I wanted to give it a good shake before I serve. Shake it for about 10 seconds at most. Uh, more than that, and you're gonna dilute it too much. Good. Love the color on that. Uh, because mojitos are typically served on ice, I will put a little in. I'm not a big fan of a ton of ice in my cocktails. I find it dilutes it too quickly, especially if you're using uh, standard size ice cubes. If you use a large ice cube, it's going to melt more slowly, so it won't dilute as quickly. And there is my, let's see if I can remember everything I put in here. This is my uh, rosemary mint lime. Um, Clementine <laughs> Mojito. Anyway, cheers.